Caterpillar Filler is played on a game map that requires some quick setup to begin. All of the orange number tiles and blue letter tiles should be shuffled face down and then placed in the corresponding columns based on player count. Five Caterpillar body pieces per player should be placed to the right. A flower token should be placed on each flower space in the garden. All other flower tiles go below the reserve tiles. will receive a Caterpillar head body parts based on the player count and one flower token flipped to its wasp side. The player then will place their head in the garden with their body parts continuing clockwise around the outer edge of the garden. It will consist of rolling the movement die and crawling forward the indicated number of spaces. Rolling a three adds a new flower to the garden. By revealing a letter and number pair of tiles, flowers will grow before you move. Players will eat flowers to earn more wasps, which may be played once per turn to block paths within the garden. You should eat as fast as you can, as this is the way you gain new body parts. You can even eat another player. If you're bit, you lose a body part and leave the board. Come back your next turn. Be the first to gain five body parts, and you'll win by turning into a beautiful butterfly. This is Caterpillar Filler. It's a two to four player game that plays in 15 to 30 minutes. Currently the box says for ages 14 and up, but I found the gameplay and rules you could easily play uh, with kids younger than that. Uh, either helping them out or possibly let them play alone as the rules are really straightforward. Roll a die, move where you want to, collect the flowers, avoid the wasps, don't get eaten by someone else so they can push you off the board, or you can eat them yourself to push them off the board. Either way, you're gonna extend yourself when you eat something, try to be the first one to collect all five of your body parts, and turn into a butterfly. It's very straightforward. Nice simple filler game that reminded me a lot of the old school phone snake game inching around the board trying to bite and eat the things you need to extend your body part a little bit longer. If you enjoy a luck based game, that's what this feels like. Um, you're rolling the die, then moving. Now you can mitigate because you're moving afterwards and you can move anywhere you want. It may be great for you, it may be great for beginners to the hobby it's because it's very straightforward rules um, and it's very reminiscent of that old school style of gaming. So if this is something that interests you, f please check it out. Feel free to go check out all the links to learn more about it. Thank you, David Newton, for giving me a chance to review this, sending me a copy over from the UK, actually. I'm gonna leave all his links below so you can go check out his website, see any updates he's working on for the game and when it's set to re actually release. Thank you for watching, and as always, play games and spread joy.